And of course, right now, crews are still cleaning up after Sunday's winter weather and then now have to get ready for this round two that Brad just talked about. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva joining us live outside the Duke Energy Operations Center. Indira, we know on the day of the big weather event, tens of thousands were left without power between both Carolinas. So do you have an update on the restoration efforts? Does everyone have the power back on? Vanessa, well, we have some good news to share. share. Duke Energy tells me as of last night, all areas affected have had power restored, but we're not in the clear just yet because crews are still prepping for more possible power outages later this week. Trees on homes, limbs on roofs, and ice remnants all around. That's just some of the aftermath following Sunday's winter weather. The ice weighs down the branches and then um, with these older trees, it'll come down and um, go through the roof. They're also prepping for what may come this Friday. Duke Energy says its meteorologists are carefully monitoring the weather, though it's still too early to know exactly what we'll see. We did retain some of our resources, so, so some of our crews that came in from the Midwest and from Florida, and then we had some workers from other companies, other utilities that came in from out of state to join us as well. Um, so we've kept some of them around. This is what we use to protect people's yards. Crews in different industries are in planning mode. We start loading up on materials we might need. The biggest concern is ice. Even a quarter of an inch can cause situations like this one, where a tree fell through a family's living room. That across the Carolinas, we have power line crews, we have tree crews, um, other storm personnel. We actually have vegetation workers who assess the trees and, and kind of how they're hanging. Um, so we're ready to safely respond no matter what happens. Now again, it's too early to really know exactly what will happen later this week, but Duke Energy wants people to be prepared just in case with batteries, bottled water, and flashlights. Live in Charlotte, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte. Indira, thanks for those updates. And speaking of getting prepared, we wanna let folks know that we are, of course, bracing for more winter weather, and we are working to make sure that you are ready for this round two. You see this QR code on your screen? You can't miss it. It's huge. Scan that with your phone's camera and that will take you straight to our guide for winter weather preparedness.